Oh my god, there are so many prisoners. Whoa, 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 no, 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 it's too soon for that. I punched someone. Oh, okay, we got knocked out. What a fantastic start. How do I get food? I don't want to line up. I don't want to talk to people. Oh, I did it again. I punched someone. I don't want to punch on people. I just want to eat my breakfast. Hey everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome to the Escapist 2! That's right, I'm fortunate enough today to have been given a copy of well, a very, very early version of the game. The game doesn't come out for a month yet, and today I plan on jumping straight in and checking it out and sharing with you one of the most anticipated sequels of one of the probably best indie games of all time, The Escapist. So without further ado, let's do this thing. So one of the main aspects and differences between this one and the previous one is this is actually co-op. You can play with your friends now. You can all jump in on the same prison and you can all try and escape together or you can jump into versus mode where you actually compete against each other to see who can escape the quickest. So. I'm hopefully going to play that with some friends. I would love to try and do that. But uh, for now, we're just going to play single player. Just me, just solo. Let's jump straight in. Oh, and you got this little My Characters thing here now as well, which means you can go and customize your characters. And I've gotten created Miola here, which is a pretty, pretty stock standard looking dude. You can change his face. You can change his skin color. You can change his name. You can change his haircut if you want to do that. There's a lot of haircuts to choose from. I mean, there are a lot. You can have green hair. You can have blue hair. You can have white hair. You can have no hair. But I'm going to have this hair. You can also, you know, go and throw on a beard if you want to, which I'm not going to. I'm not going to throw on a beard. You can throw hats on as well. You can throw glasses on. There's only a few glasses to choose from. And I have no idea what this little star means. Maybe... Maybe, maybe it just means I'm special. I don't know. But anyways, let's go. Let's jump straight into our first prison, guys. Welcome, prisoner. The Escapist 2 is a sandbox game where your goal is to escape from prison. There are many different things you can do in this game and many different ways to escape each prison. How, how you escape is up to you. If you're new to The Escapist 2, a good place to start is in Precinct 17. It's a short tutorial that will teach you the controls. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. So I have access to Precinct 17. Center Perks 2.0, Rattlesnake Springs, and I think that is all. Yeah, those three right there. That is all I get to play with. So let's do it. Let's jump straight in and check this thing out. I'm so excited. The graphics in this game, just the pixel art looks incredible. Yo, we're on a beach. So I bet you want to hear about the, how I, the incredible Robinson escaped, huh? Yeah, if you want. Look at me, I got a little beard and everything. Just put yourself in my shoes for a minute and I'll talk you through it. Is this supposed to be? So this is how it played out. Oh, oh, no way. So we're like telling the story about how we escaped prison or something, right? So I got up one morning and thought to myself, enough is enough. I wanted out. It was time to leave this place. I got out of bread and ran over to my desk. <laughs> okay. I opened the desk and pressed E. Oh, a sock and a bar of soap. We all know what you can do with that, don't we? We can craft ourselves something very, very special. I think. We just throw them up there and craft them. <laughs> yeah, we got a sock maced. You bet we do. And what do I do with it? How do I equip it? When you're executing an elaborate escape plan, the key to success is not to draw attention to yourself. I use the yellow arrow, which would guide me to the next routine. This is a really cool way of doing a tutorial. I like this. At roll call, trying my best to keep calm, I wondered, did they know I was up to something? That I had a plan? My head- I didn't get to read that in time. Listen, you lot, listen up. It's our job to break you. That's not very nice. This ain't no Rocky. I ain't in Russia. The following morons have won a cell search. It's gonna be me. Chuck and Pip, it wasn't me. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Well. That's great. Free time. Casting fear aside, as I had done with Modern Valleys my whole life, an inmate called Chuck was of interest to me. I had a hunch the green array by the stairs was trying to tell me something. Well, let's go up the st Multiple level prisons. That, I don't think, was in the first one. Casting fear aside, as I had done... Oh, yeah, yeah, we've already listened to that. We've got to follow, we've got to follow the green arrow. We've got to talk to Chucky Boy over here. With nobody looking, I equipped at the... So oh, we ain't talking to Chucky Boy. No, no, no. We're, uh, <laughs> we're going to give him a bit of a beatdown is what we're going to do. Can I look through his body? Yes, we can. He's got a cyan key. I don't know what that does, but I get the feeling we're about to find out. With Chuck unconscious, I looted the key from him using the E to access his pockets and took it, took it using, yeah, yeah. And then swiftly made for the evidence room opposite using my key. Okay, that's over here. 
Apparently, oh, the cyan key gets through the cyan door into the uh, the evidence room. And what are we gonna take from here? Robinson's pickaxe. Don't mind if I do. Just give me a moment while I top up the suntan lotion. I'm, I'm burning here. Anyway, I need the exact place to use my tools. Once more, I use the green arrow to guide me. All right, so it looks like we're going back downstairs with our new pickaxe. And where are we taking it? Into our cell? Oh, look at this. We've actually thrown a sheet over the cell gate. So like, I guess people can't see in or something. To hide my actions, I picked up the bed sheet. Oh, if I just, you know, read what I'm supposed to read, I could actually, you know, do what I gotta do. Um, press tab to equip it and throw it over there. I wanna, I wanna drape it over there, please. Space. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we're gonna dig into this, this room over here. I don't know what room this is, but we're gonna do it. So we're gonna equip our pickaxe and then break the wall. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I wonder how strong this, oh, this, the wall's not very strong. The wall is not strong at all, but I'm out of energy. With my energy, energy levels low, luckily it was meal time. Oh, that's what I like to see. The green arrow guided me yet again. I headed to the food hole and grabbed a tray of highly quite quality slop using the E. Okay. Well, let's go and grab something. I shouldn't be walking around with a pickaxe either, but, um, Apparently, yeah, no guards really thought to say anything about the pickaxe. I was waving around in front of their face. Petrified, I managed to eat, which restored my energy. Fantastic. En energy levels replenished and freedom my goal. I managed to keep down the food I had consumed. Took a deep breath and continued to follow the green arrow. How would a guard not be suspicious of these red bed sheets pretty much guarding my, my prison from anybody seeing inside? Myself from anybody seeing inside. Let's get through this wall, though. We've broken through into the maintenance room, it, it appears. Let's go through the desk and see what we can find. We have ourselves an adrenaline shot and Robinson's cutters. Okay. Very, very nice. I didn't read what he said, but holding E, I picked up the desk, placed it beneath the vent on the marked spot by pressing E. Oh, we got to hold it. And we're going to place it over here. Oh, let's place it. Now place it. There we go. I don't want to sit down. We're going we're gonna to climb up. There we go. And with the cutters which we got to equip, we should be able to cut through, right? I'm too tired to keep doing this. Oh, I got to take my adrenaline shots. What we got to do? Okay. There we go. We've used it, right? Now I can equip the cutters. There's a guard on the way though. We probably got to be quick when we're doing this. Let's cut through this thing. Are we, are we through? Um, there's a guard just outside the door. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, but we're good. Let's keep cutting through here. Hopefully we've got enough energy to do it. And we're up. Oh, we're up in the vents now. This is bliss. Golden beaches, lapping waves. Anyway, having made my way right, I equipped my cutters and cut through the closed vent cover using space. All right, let's go cut through these other vents and enter whatever room this is we're going to. One cut. And let's go get this thing done. All right, we're in business. And we're down. What is... Oh God, they know we're breaking out. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I don't know what I've got. I've got a shovel now. What am I supposed to be doing? S sweating furiously, looking like I just had a fight with a fire engine. I, s I equipped my shovel with a tab and I frantically began to dig. <gasps> dig away, boy, dig away. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. We gotta dig this hole. The guards are gonna come in. The guards are gonna get us. All right, we're good, we're good. And we're down. All right, we're digging somewhere. There's stuff everywhere. There's tunnels like literally everywhere <laughs> this is so weird this is so cool making the most of my, sh my shovel i continue to dig ahead using space in a rushed but precise manner oh i think we're gonna dig upwards now right we're gonna dig upwards i cleared two underground spaces ahead dug into the second open space in front of me which allowed me to come up through the other side into the car park if my calculations were correct okay are we up are we up can we get out yet? Let's do it. We're out. We're in the car park. There's some more cutters. How have we not been like sniped out by anybody just yet? Um, now I got to cut through this fence. There's like a detective waiting right there by the cop car though. They, they know what we're doing. I don't have a good feeling about this, but we made it out of the confines and that's it. Well, it's fascinating stuff, Robinson. It really is. Thanks. I'm surprised I haven't been caught yet, though. This guy's a cop, isn't he? I doubt they'll ever catch you me now. This guy next to me. Watch this. No? Okay, maybe he isn't. I thought he was, like, gonna rat me out or something, but... Nope. 
<laughs> Here come the police! Freeze, Robinson! Freeze! Well then! <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> We're going back to prison. I guess that's what this game is all about. Man, even like an army naval vessel rocked up. Well, we escaped the tutorial world! One knockout, one item crafted, three stars. Great! I think we're officially ready to enter level one, Center Perks 2.0. I'm excited for this because Center Perks is like level one in The Escapist, the original one. So it's, uh, I, I want to see how much it resembles the original prison. Anyways, let's have a little read through the info. Oh, <laughs> have a read of this. After a ridiculous amount of escapes and a devastating review from the inspection committee, the warden of Center Perks decided to rip his beloved prison down and rebuild a more secure version. But as the saying goes, some people never learn. Wow. Let's do this thing! Center Perks 2.0 is the first proper prison. However, the guards won't let you have everything your own way. This is a challenging game. Tips. Follow the yellow arrow to attend routines. We know that much. Explore the prison well. Keep a lookout for any weaknesses. Find the materials you need to craft the tools for your escape. Try and keep your head, your heat and security level low to avoid trouble from guards. The most straightforward way of escaping is breaking through the prison's border. For example, you might tunnel, chip or cut your way out. Good luck. Let's do, oh my God. Hold on, customize inmates and guards. How many, oh, that's a lot of prison inmates and guards. Are we taking all of them in with us? Oh, Jacksepticeye is one of them. <laughs> of course he is with his little green hair there. Is there any other names that I might recognize or is it just Jack? Oh, Dan TDM's in here as well. Oh, Martin Littlewood as well. He's another YouTuber. So it looks like there's a bunch. We're not the only, really, we're not the only YouTuber in prison today, but we can randomize. We can randomize. I guess it keeps all the same. All right, let's go. Let's jump straight into the game. And here we are. Choose your, oh, who, who else would I choose? Apart from my boy Miola right here. Let's do this thing. Welcome to Santa Perks 2.0. Your reform starts here. Okay. I really like the art style. Roll call is mandatory. The prison would lock down if you are not present. The food served in our canteen is a great source of health and energy. Good to know, Warden. Good to know. Escape attempts will be reported to our control room. Look at the guys in their, like, ride gear and stuff like that. That's crazy. Increase your intelligence by reading our books. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Don't you worry. What's with all the office space and stuff like that, though? And use the gym... Or use the gym equipment to increase your strength and speed. Earn some money by visiting our job offices. Okay. Yes. Yes. Is that all we need to know? We will allocate one of these rooms for you to stay in. It looks like we've got a cellmate, possibly. As you can see, we have a film crew with us for a while. Please don't interrupt their filming. I wonder what we can take from them. I feel like that film crew might be the key to getting out of this prison, but here we are. We're awake. We're alive. Let's have a look and see what we have inside of our desk to begin with. A roll. No, nope, let's put that away. We've got a roll of duct tape. That is. That will come in handy. That will come in very handy. Bottle of milk. Oh, and it's bad. It's, it's red. Ooh, a postal address and a mop. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. First things first. While we're here, let's go and check out our our cell neighborunis desk and see if he's got anything cool in here wire you know what i'll take it i'll take it wire can come in handy but uh where's roll call looks like it's just up here oh my god there are so many prisoners <gasps> the sinks are not toilets whoever that was <laughs> we're going to be in a documentary whoa, whoa whoa no 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 no! it's too soon for that no 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 i punched so oh, okay we got knocked out what a fantastic start tell me you're worth saving <laughs> What a joke! I punched someone accidentally. I didn't mean to do that. When a character's... <laughs> am, I, am I good to go yet? Can I return? Can I return to where I gotta be? I'm back at roll call now. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I feel bad for whoever I just beat up. I have no idea how I did that. But it uh, looks like it's breakfast. So let's go to breakfast. There's a lot of food. The schlop looks a lot... Oh, it's a big lineup. I'm just gonna jump the line. Oh, nope, nope. What am I doing? Oh! Someone was selling some stuff. How do I get food? I don't want to line up. I don't want to talk to people. Oh, I did it again. I punched someone. Why do I keep punching people? I don't want to punch all people. 
I just want to eat my breakfast and do what I gotta do. This guy here got beaten down as well. <laughs> All right, it looks like oh, someone beat down a guard. Okay, they're going to the infirmary. All right, well, I would like some food if possible. Can I grab, oh, we still got the cutlery trays. Thing is, I can't remember how to grab food. From over here, oh. You gotta go to the end. Stop trying to hit people. We gotta stop punching people. Free time. Well, I'm I'm a bit busy eating my breakfast right now, to be honest. Well, what better to what better things to do in free time than uh, go and check everybody's desks and see what we can find? So let's open up this one here. Okay, someone spotted us already. Robin, of all people to be walking past, it's got to be Robin, doesn't it? Well, Robin, you know what? You want to fight? You want to fight, Robin? How did they knock me out with one punch? Why am I so bad at this game? <laughs> it appears maybe we're not supposed to be punching nobody. There are so many people in and out of the infirmary. It is ridiculous. Well, let's go. Can I? Oh, I wanted to check that guy's buddy. I want to check Nero's buddy and see what they had in what, I, what they had on them. So which one's my prison? I think this is yeah. This is my desk. That one had wire in it. We have duct tape. Let's, oh, that's. Nero? No, we're good, we're good. No one spotted us. <gasps> we got some timber though. Timber's good. Timber is very, very good. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Let's go and check out this cell as well. There's so many cells for us to check. In fact, we should just do a scan of the prison first. We should check out what we can find. We got a piece of string, soap and a sock. Fantastic. Yes, indeedy. Whoa. First things first. Let's... Oh, no, no, no. I want to craft something. Here we go. Let's craft ourselves. Uh, I can't figure it out. We gotta raise our intellect first. Okay. It looks like we, we're not equipped with the knowledge that we need to make ourselves a sock base, but this prison is enormous, man. This is Kathy. Play instrument. Oh, and we can we can study as well. Oh yeah, we gotta study, don't we? Here we go. Oh, what is this? It's like a little mini game. What do you do? Oh, gotta keep it inside of the range? Oh, that's interesting. That is pretty cool, okay. So as long as we keep this inside of the boundaries, we're gaining intelligence levels. And it actually tells us what level our intelligence is. So this is very different to the Escapist 1. I like it. It's actually a little bit of a game instead of just clicking the computer or clicking the book over and over again. Well, let's get this to about 40. And hopefully that'll be enough to make us a sock mace. And then we at least got a weapon. We might be able to do some damage to the other prison prison guards, prison inmates, or just anybody we need. All right, we've reached level 40. Let's see... In fact, what level we need to be to be able to craft ourselves a, a sock mace. There we go, it's level 40. Craft it up, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I can equip this as a weapon, right? Do the guards get angry? Okay, guards don't recognize what you're holding in your hand. So that's an interesting thing right there. Now, I can't go into this room, but, or can I? Hold to open. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm pulling the door open? But am I supposed to be? Nope, too tired. I guess we weren't supposed to open it, but uh, we got somewhere to be now. Where are we going exactly? Oh, lunchtime, of course. Oh, yo, we can get like a full map of the prison and everything. This is cool. This is very nice. And lunchtime has come at a, at a good time because we got no energy. We got to restore some of our sweet, sweet energy. I just don't want to punch anybody this time. Oh, I punched somebody by accident. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Whoa! Sorry, buddy. I've got a sock mace now. I ain't going down without a fight. Where do you think you're running to, mate? Guard's gonna see me, though. Guard's gonna see me. No, they're not. There we go. He's down. Hurry along, me old. <laughs> it wasn't me. I swear this wasn't me. I wanted to check his body, though. All right. Well, it's job time. Where do I need to be going for that? Nope, not down there. Look at the size of this prison. It's enormous. Where's job time? It's up here. Okay. Well, I don't know what, what our job is, but I guess we're about to find out. It's actually upstairs. Would you look at that? Um, It's in here. Oh, we gotta find a job. I don't actually have a job. Okay, sit down then. You have to attend the job office when you don't have a job. Speaking to the job office lady will reward you with your money. Okay. Um, You're just not what we're looking for. Go back to being a common prisoner. What? There's no, there's no jobs available for me though. But I need a job. How am I supposed to save up money if I if I can't get a job? <laughs> well, I guess I guess we don't have a job today, unfortunately. 
But let's keep having a little look around. We'll wait for a job to be vacant. Let's go have a look through some more desks, I reckon. What are we going to find inside? That is the question. What are we going to get? There's a prison guard on his way. We've got to be careful of. Tub of talcum powder. We can... Oh, no. Did he see me? Is he angry with me? I think we're good. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's now exercise time, though. So, let's go and do some exercise. Oh, right here. Right here. Here we go. What should we do? Should we uh, strength workout or should we do a fit? Let's do a strength workout to begin with. Okay. So how does this one work? Because they've all, they all seem to have changed. We'll just keep tabbing away at it up here or something. Simple as that. Spam an E and Q just to get it up here. One, two, and three. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I'm too tired. Yeah, because it, it won't let me, it won't let me rest when we're supposed to be resting for some reason. Well, let's talk to some of our friends over here and see if we can get any missions from them. Hey, Jeffrey, you got any missions, buddy? Got any missions for me? Envy strikes again. Some more and flushed all my painting supplies down the toilet. Obvious, obviously jealous of my amazing art skills. Could you help me locate some fresh ones? Yeah, I can, I can have a little look around for you, buddy. How about you, mate? Me and the gang are going to be back on the road one day making sweet sounds. Would you kindly track us down some fresh instruments? Yeah, man, I'll have a little look. I'll have a look around. But for now, we must head to the showers and have a little... This is very different. This is so cool. Why are we... Why are we cleaning with clothes on? We're in the shower blocks with clothes on and stuff. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem too right, but okay. Am I all rested up now, though, at least? There we go. There we go. Let's get back to that 100 energy. Okay, we're much better now. I was going to go and check this guy's body, but we can't. And I'm going to leave shower block just because we don't need to be here anymore. I'm going to check some more cells. This is Emerson's desk. See what we find inside of Emerson's desk. Piece of string and a tub of toothpaste. Not exactly what I'm looking for, I'm afraid. What about Tony? What's Tony hiding? Anything good? A screwdriver. Ho, ho, ho. And a trowel. And a battery. All very, very good items. Okay, well. Where's my desk? Here it is. Here it is. I gotta go put some of this stuff away. In fact, no. No. This, this is bad stuff. Nope. We're gonna flush it down. Well, we're not gonna flush it down the toilet. We're just gonna hide it in the toilet. We've got a couple illegal things here. Um, yep, those three right there. Hold on a second. Can I leave them in there? No? You have to flush them? You can't just hide them in toilets anymore? Or am I reading this completely wrong? I don't know. Hold on, there's a hidden compartment though. How do I... How do I move it to the... Oh, there we go. Okay. So we can't use our toilet anymore, but what we can do is throw stuff into a hidden compartment. So that's handy. That's very cool. And where are we supposed to be? Dinner time. Okay. We're going to head to dinner time. Looks like the day is nearly over. Hopefully though... Oh, don't tell me it's over already. I just want to be able to take a tray. No, I just punched someone again. Oh, come on. I don't want this. You don't want this. None of us want this. I just wanted to get a tray. <laughs> Dude, you can't, you can't, you can't. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Get rid of you as well, Chancer. Get out of here. Let me check this guy's body. No, don't take him. No, I didn't get to check the body. Well, it's free time yet again. Oh, Parker, how do I, how do I, I want to open this guy's body. Not open his body. I don't want to sound like a complete fruit loop, but I just wanted to, I don't know how to check all the bodies, it appears. I don't know what I'm doing. Fair enough. This guy's got a mission for us, though. Hey, Frank! No! I hit him! Why am I hitting everybody? I don't want to hit everybody. And we're gonna lose our sock mace now. We've lost our weapon. Our one and only weapon. That is disappointing. Unfortunately, I don't know why we're attacking people and we're not supposed to be. I just wanted to talk to Frankie. Frankie, let's talk, mate. Let's talk. Frankie. Well, since I don't know how to talk to people, let's just go keep looking through some desks. <gasps> another roller duct tape and another baton. You know, if we get a wire, we're going to be able to get ourselves some nunchucks. Oh, God. We're about to get caught, though. We're about to get caught. We're about to get caught. Okay, wire. We've got the wire. The only thing is... We've been spotted inside the, the cell. The person was actually in there. Well, I want to see if we can get nunchucks now. If I can get nunchucks today, that would be nuts. I still haven't worked out how we're getting out of this prison, but hey, it's only day one. We're allowed to be... Oh, this isn't even my room. Oh, okay. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Which one's my room? 
<laughs> it must be down here. Nero, this one here. Okay. Hey, this is my room, Officer Big. Get out of here. Get out of here. I just want to go and craft some nunchucks. Is that too much to ask? Let's nunchuck around. In fact, what level do I need, even need to be to get that? What level do I need to be? Right here. Uh, level 60. Damn. Wow. We're not going to be getting them anytime soon then. That's for sure. Is there anywhere we can read down here? Or do we need to like move upstairs or something? No, it's right here. And here's the drums. Let's play bongos, I suppose. Does that do anything or... Doesn't look like it increases our intelligence, that's for sure. All right, back to the intellect game it is then. We're gonna get to level 60. We got a long way to go before we can make these nunchucks, but when you're determined, you can do anything. And I want them nunchucks. Don't mind me, Warden. I'm just doing some reading, you know, just doing my thing. I think we're gonna run out of energy before we get this done, unfortunately. We don't have much energy left. We're only gonna get to 55 and we're too tired to do it. So maybe we'll just sit down for a bit. We'll see if we get enough time to, to make it happen. 15 energy. I think we're going to need like 50 energy at least to get these last five levels that we need. And it's just about roll call time. Roll call time in five minutes. So I don't like our chances at this, but let's try. Let's try and get these five levels done. That's one. That's two. Do I have enough time? That's three. Two left. That's one. And I think we're going to get it. No! Just short! But it's roll call time! It's roll call time! I don't have time! I've got to get to roll call, got to get to roll call, got to get to roll call. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we do it? Can we do it? I'm going to get hit by a guard in a second. Come on, the final level! Did we do it? We did it. We got 60. We can now craft ourselves Nub trucks, And we can beat up some people. Only thing is, we're a long way from roll call, I think. And if we don't make it in time, we're going to get in a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. I'm nearly there. And we have made it in the nick of time with like 10 minutes to spare. Well, who's getting the search down today? Hopefully not us. Who's getting that shakedown? Are we in the clear? There's a lot of guards. Oh, it's Herschel and Martin Littlewood. Well, we escaped that one, thankfully. Now, let's go make ourselves some nunchucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to beat down anybody who gets in our way now. We're going to get it. Gonna... No one's got a chance, basically. Which room's mine? Oh, right here. Right here. Right now. We're in our cell, and I think we're locked in for the long haul. It's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. Day one is completed, and that is all for this one, guys. We're going to leave this here. You'll be seeing some more escapers too on the channel for sure. We're going to be breaking out of this prison, I assure you of that. If you guys enjoyed this video, though, make sure to go ahead, punch the thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups, and I'll catch you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye for now. I'm